Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a level blocker. What is a level blocker? A level blocker prevents you from going outside the boundaries of the level, and perhaps brings up a message on the screen saying, for example, you cannot go that way. It's actually very, very simple to do, and all you need to do is just be aware of where your boundaries for your level are. So for example, we can't go out of this section of this area. So all we do is game object, 3D object, cube, and this cube will be used as a way of protecting where we can and can't go. So if we bring it into place and stretch it across this particular area here, so let's increase it on the X to probably 20, just to be safe. And I'm just gonna turn the image effects off just for now, just so we can see what we're doing. And also increase the scale on the Y by let's say uh, 10, just so it's like a, an imaginary wall. And obviously we don't want to be able to see it, so let's turn off that mesh renderer right there. We need to keep the box collider on because we don't want to pass through. But we also want a message to appear on screen to say you cannot go that way rather than just kind of walk and you don't go anywhere. So to do that, it's game object, 3D object, cube once again, and this cube will be used as a trigger. Don't know what a trigger is? A trigger is a way of detecting when we go into something and it recognizes that yes, we're in this or no, we're not in this. So we need to tick is trigger right there. Now let's increase the size of this object to relatively reflect the size of our original blocker, which I'm actually going to rename as blocker. And this cube will be trigger. So let's increase the size to let's say about five, maybe eight actually, just so it covers this particular section right here. Obviously you would take the time to work out whereabouts uh, you should be placing your actual blocker, your trigger I should say. And I'm going to turn the mesh render on just to neatly align these two objects up together. So let's bring that to about there. And that should do the trick. And turn off blocker once again. And we'll also do the same with the trigger. So these two are... I should turn off mesh rather than the actual object. It would help. So these two objects do actually appear in the scene view, but they won't appear in our game view because they're not rendering their mesh. So to control ourselves being able to display on screen that we can or can't go out, what we need to do is if we go to game object, UI, and let's go to text, place this text wherever you want in your scene. So I'm going to do it, let's say, in straight in the middle. Why not? And increase, I'm going to increase some size to about 26 and increase it to a nice white color. And I'll probably... Uh, just have it say, you cannot go that way. And I should probably increase the size of the actual object itself so we can see. And let's align it in the center right there. And then I'm going to turn it off. So this is going to be done in the simplest possible way. You could actually use uh, the get component feature to change what the text says and then make it blank. But I find it probably quicker and easier just to kind of turn the object on and off whenever we need to. So let's head back to the trigger and let's get that C Sharp script in place. So let's right click, create C Sharp script. Let's call this level block. And let's open that up in Visual Studio. Now this is actually going to be very, very simple. And it's going to be two methods that we use, one to enter the trigger and one to exit the trigger. But we also need to have our text as an actual object. So let's get rid of void start, void update and annotations. And let's go public game object and block text, semicolon. Then void on trigger enter and it doesn't need to be private, so we can get rid of that. And all we need to do is have block text dot set active true. So it appears on screen when we go inside the trigger. And now obviously we need to do the inverse. Void on trigger exit. Again, doesn't need to be private. We can get rid of that. And then do the inverse of this. So we could literally copy that line of code, place it, and change true to false. Save that script, head back to Unity, and this level block script now needs to be attached to the trigger, not the blocker, the trigger. Just make sure you get that right. So drag and drop level block onto trigger, make sure we're on that object and make sure it is ticked is trigger, and make sure blocker isn't ticked is trigger. 
And then we just need to set the text into that variable right there. Drag and drop. And then let's press play and try this out. So we shouldn't have our text on the screen. The bloom's a little overkill here, as we can see. And as soon as we try going out our village, you cannot go that way, as we can see. So if we back out, there we go. You cannot go that way. So that is how we can easily create a level blocker to stop people going out of the boundaries in your game, along with a message to say you can't go that way. Guys, thank you very much for watching.